and onward to the last stand. You arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past initial security, and an, af on an officer sets up a direct feed to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tilly speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Explain your mission. Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Terzil of the Edge Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel strategy. Risk all or save none. Explain the weakness of the Federation fleet, the rebel flagship. Tilly responds, It's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We'll do what we can to hold off their warship, but you must succeed in destroying the flagship. Your current out your current outpost can provide some repairs and fuel. The other repair stations can provide some aid as well. Good luck. We can fully repair our hull and give us ten fuel. All right, last stand. So you have to get here for an enemy flagship, and these repair beacons will give us supplies. So we're gonna start. At, we're gonna start by going to repair beacon, beacon, and then make our way up to the base. You see the enemy flagship and where it's going. Chatter on the comm suggests that when suggests that the Air Federation base is outfitted for repair station. When you forward your mission priority, they quickly help you repair your ship and get you some other supplies. So as we go, other beacons will be taken over by rebels. Since I've picked up the refugees, have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt, one of the many fleeing the role advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it's trying to avoid notice. Hail them. As you hail the refugee ship, a pirate ship jumps into the system. He was using the refugee ship as bait. Okay. They have burst laser, halberd beam, just a missile. Let's turn on our defense drone. Reach their weapon system. I will set the ion blast to hit their shields. And I'll have these on standby ready to aim at whatever I need. This will also shoot down their hacking drones as they repeatedly try to hack us. If we're lucky, they'll run out of drone parts and not be able to hack us. I actually might not... Okay, uh, I don't want that... I might not even need to use the breach. Let's... Disable the weapons. And we're out of drone parts, okay. So now we are safe from missiles, and effectively we are safe from all damage. down our defense drone. Now that we have sensors, we can actually see the enemy ship, so let's mess with them a little. Let's kill the crew on this ship.
The powered ship now gives life forms. Life forms provides an easy salvage. Killing a ship, defeating a ship without killing the crew always gives you more rewards. The refugee ship claims pirates have been following them. they following their trails since they left their homeworld. As a gesture of goodwill and seeing how effectively they dispatch the enemy ship, they offer up what little supplies they can spare. All right, do I want to upgrade anything? I could upgrade to level four shields, but I think I just want more power right now. Get level three shields fully online. Two fleets fight nearby. You try to skirt around the edges of the battle and keep out of the weapons range, but a rebel scout spots you and moves in. This is a scout. This is armed to the teeth. All right. Let's see. They have a flak, a laser. They have uh, a lot of lasers, actually. I'll put up a. I'll put up the defense drone, which will effectively have an extra layer of shields. I don't think I need the mind control yet. Thank you for fighting in the medbay. Disabled their... So they can't get back. are scarce in this region of space, despite a number of civilian space stations. You see a small bomber squadron engage with the Federation scouts and quickly move in to assist. Alright, they have no missile launcher, so I don't need the drone.
the rebels. Actually, this is... You stumble across a rebel ship distributing supplies to local civilian colonies. It's probably not anything military grade, but every little bit helps. You can attack them and scrap the ship. You can steal from the civilians and either get a tiny amount of resources or a, or a, a uh, sabotage or both. I'm just gonna leave them be. We're about to fight the flagship. Let's get our ship ready. First phase is very heavy weapons. We want level 4 shields. Definitely. Let's get the crew healed. I'm gonna probably use this drone a bunch. I'll be he'll be running ragged, repairing things. Let's go. This is the Federation base. This is it, the Rebel flagship. If you're able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. Let's go. Piloting. That could be very bad for us. Something I like to do is disable these outer weapons first, particularly this missile launcher. You have to keep this down no matter what. This is a deadly, deadly weapon. timing with the cloak there. Let's dodge the ions. Crew member, good. They have no shields. Let's see, uh, missile there. Disable this. Uh, bad timing on the cloak there. Disable this. Okay, this will stay down now. I still have to disable at the start of every fight. At the start of each phase of the fight, rather, but... Now, I don't have to worry about it for this phase.
Oh, I just I could have just killed a bunch of them with a breach bomb with that hit. They had a great time cloak for them there. Still, that's the end of phase one. Just as you finally get the upper hand, it finds a way to make a good FTL jump. You've got to keep the assault. Let's jump over here and get some more resources. Rebel Scout. Let's see. They have no missiles, so I don't need a drone. Don't need the mind control because they have no people. Let's turn the evasion way up. Trying to conserve missiles, because even though we have 50% chance not to use any, we have to make them last. We have two more phases of the flagship to beat. You arrive near the Fairshin base to find the bulk of their fleet skirmishing rebel forces. You hang back to the far side of the moon to avoid the conflict. There's not much you can do to help in that battle, and your mission holds the key to the flagship. Er, and your mission holds the key to turn the tide of the war. You prepare to face the flagship. Alright. What can I upgrade? I have 98 scrap. I could get the last two power bars. I have 28 more. If I upgrade piloting, it'll work without someone on it. And also means it has two points of damage before it's destroyed, not one. Doors are okay. I think I want the extra power bars and the piloting. Phase two. Phase two is all about drones. We need our defense drone mark two. We're gonna be using a lot of these drone parts to stay alive. Let's go. We chased down the flagship and discovered it is heavily damaged from the previous fight. Scans indicate it is redirected additional power towards drones. Get ready for a fight. Okay. Breach drone on the missile launcher. There's no one in there, so it should be they should be unable to repair it. We have a defense frambler augment. So this defense drone will be useless. Power surge detected. Power surge, it's about to summon a bunch of drones, so immediately, cloak, wait it out. It's a lot of drones, huh? The 
looks like their anti-personnel drone got through. We have to read we have to put everyone on standby to get kill this thing quick. You stand weapons. You get healed. Healed. Cloak. Trying to conserve some missiles here. Taking some damage. Cloak. Get out of there, get out of there! Uh, uh. Kill him. Oh, that's why the drone control's down. Ay ay ay. Disable that drone. You get in there and kill that. Kill this flagship. Phase two done. Whew. Just as you finally get apprehended, it finds a way to make an FTL jump. You've got to keep up the assault. All right. You two get healed. As long as one crew member in the enemy ship stays alive, we can do this. If all crew members die, it, bec it becomes automated. Everything will self-repair. If we keep one crew member alive, then we can just keep things going. Uh, let's see, I'm going to... I, I kind of want to use the combat drone here. Okay. I can't upgrade anything. I mean, I can upgrade them, I can upgrade, wait, wait, I can upgrade the oxygen system? Yeah, might as well. Alright. We're gonna chase the flagship. Your 
are not certain how it's able to keep fighting with the amount of damage it sustained. It looks like it's trying to power to the transporter as well as some kind of super weapon. Be prepared. This is it. Turn on drone mind control because we can counteract its mind control with ours. Call my drone will help tear down their will help uh, undo their mind their uh, super shield this green super shield. Close through their missile barrage. You heal. Power surge detected. Ouch. Jeez. Disable that. Yeah, you want to usually save your, uh, cloaking for the super weapon. Oh, I lost a crew member. My weapon system is almost down. Okay, this is bad. Cloak through the super oven. Missiles. Great. Okay, both of you. Fair weapons. Ouch. Okay, you. Repair oxygen. Both of you. Yeah, I think I've lost this one. I didn't have enough missiles to get through, I had too many missile dependent systems. Well, we made it to the final phase, but we weren't quite there. We couldn't quite make it. One less explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. We had a score of 4,381. 4, made to Sector 8 on advanced mode. Most ships defeated. Well, these are all records because it's my first recorded war uh, run. Let's, as you can see, we've also unlocked the NG ship and the rock ship. So maybe next time I decide to play, I can show off one of them. Personally, the um, Mantis ship is, is my favorite and one version of the stealth ship. But that's a story for another day. I've been Toss the Goats, and I'll see you next time.